Hi, this is Paula Gloria, and this show is Farther Down the Rabbit Hole. For those of you who've been faithful viewers, you realize we've been on for almost two seasons. We're just coming on to our third season. The show was originally started by interviews that Alan Steinfeld and I had with people who are now stars on the movie, What the Bleep Do We Know? And this movie showed how quantum mechanics indicates that we can have a better life. We can create new realities. And the whole purpose of creating new realities is to create a world of greater harmony, of greater justice, of greater abundance, prosperity, but most of all, of greater wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Uh, several weeks ago on this show, we actually had the producer from the movie, What the Bleep Do We Know? And he was promoting his, um, his sequel to, to the film, which is called Down the Rabbit Hole. And for you Manhattan viewers, you'll realize that um, farther down the rabbit hole came first. But in any case, I was delighted that they picked up on that theme of pursuing a topic to greater and greater and greater depths. Today, I'm extremely honored to have with us two people who, who have gone down the rabbit hole very far so that what is out there is not really out there, but it's deep within us. When Mark Vicente, the producer of What the Bleep Do We Know, was on our show a few weeks ago, we had a conference call into India, and we were able to speak at that time to Pilot Baba. He was in a village in India. And today, we have Pilot Baba with us, who is a master of cities, and he has his foremost disciple, Yogmata, from Japan. So thank you, Pilot Baba, for joining us, and thank you, Yogmata. Namaste. Welcome to New York. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I think what would be of greatest interest to our viewers is how a man like yourself, who was a military man, came in the midst of doing his dharma, because in India, to follow one's duty is something you're brought up from, from a little boy yeah. to honor and to cherish. And Westerners don't quite appreciate how, um, how profound following one's dharma is. But having been in India for so many years, as soon as I heard that you were a fighter pilot over Kashmir and you changed, I knew, I think a little more than most Americans, how dramatic this was. So can, can you explain a little for our viewers you what can say what, it what is was a gift that moment? We are the gift of the nature. We Indians believe in God. And in science speak way, God is a great consciousness. It is the existent, it is, it is a being. So we are the gift of that being existence. So we Indian we teach the Dharma from very childhood either from the mother, either from the father, either from the society, either from the schools. We have a Bhagavad Gita, we have Ramayana, we have a Vedanta, we have a Purana, and we have a six philosophies. Right. Most of the people try to go through it. When you go through it, you feel there's something more what we have in this world. What we've seen in this world, it is not enough. It is a all beauty which is created by the mind. But we are being taught in the early that we are just not a mind. We are beyond the mind. Mind is a humanitarian. Mind is a service. Mind has been given us to make a good relationship in the world, to live in a better way, work for the peace, work for the love, work for the compassion. Your mother, your society, <coughs> your yeah. co-workers. This is all. You, all is the mind. All is the mind. Right. And so when you, you told your mother, for example, you were leaving, yes, that yes. was with the mind, and she probably reacted with the mind. Yes, yes. She yes. probably thought you were crazy. No, of course, it happened. Whenever you try to go beyond these things, see, people will think that you are crazy. I see. Anyone in the world, eh, if you try to go beyond all these things, eh, think beyond the mind, they will tell you you are crazy, you are a psychic. But, but you wanted to pursue this because you were, because in see, Kashmir, when it what comes, happened in Kashmir? When it comes to you, Nothing can control you. Mm. When it comes uh, inside you, nothing, no beauty, 
no attractions, no science can control you. Okay. Because it is an inner science. So, so maybe your commanding officer said, why are you walking yeah, away I, from such see, a, a I position? See, I fly for the Indian Air Force yes. for 14 years. Yes. I resigned as a wing commander. I was commanding. I fly as a flying officer, as a fly pilot officer, as a flight lieutenant, as a squadron leader. At the end, as a wing commander, I commanded many stations. Did you ever have to kill anybody to put the bombs, or you were helping? Yes, I, I, I work. I acted. I was very active pilot in uh, 65 Pakistan War. I was 65? Very, yeah. I was the man of, uh, who fight alone for the freedom of Portugal. I, but we have Goa. Mm -hmm. Get free the Goa. I was the first man without anybody command. With one my command, I go drop the bomb because I want to free the... Because you see, today there are people who are going to war in America, in Iraq, and even though they may look at you and they say you're an Indian and you don't have the problems that I have, I'm feeling that as a man who is, who is facing a decision in life, yeah, that, we, that they can relate to you. We have a personal life, individual life, we have a social life. Right. We, we, our individual life can be taken for the social life. We can come, overcome, we can give up own luxury, own benefit, own liking, own taste for the society, for beauty of the society, right. beauty of the world, for the loves, for the compassion, most probably for the peace. We, every world, every humanity wants a peaceful living in this world. But it is very hard. The religion has confused. There are many... The religion's confused. Yeah, religion has confused the world. Everywhere. Everywhere. Not just, not just the West. India, the, we say, we Islam, can say the Islam, Hinduism, the Christians, Christianity. Hinduism, all, there are many, seven, eight powerful religions in the world. They have confused and they have exploited the humanity. Okay. They have fooled the humanity. They have created slavery. Now, now you knew this as a pilot, right? Yes. You knew this religious confusion existed, yes. but you say something came from beyond the mind that could not stop you. you. Have to, when, and you then see, when you see the people, you find the people are suffering. Why this suffering is there? Right. You have to say, why, this, why they cannot have a peace? Why they cannot have a compassion? Why they can't have a love? Why they cannot give their, share their love to the others? Why they cannot see themselves who they are? Right. We know about the name. You know about the personality. You know about the jobs. You know about the beauty of the body and the minds. But why people cannot see the inner beauty of self, who they are? If you, religions are going to teach these things, ki everyone is a one. We are descended energy from the higher consciousness. You are not separate from e each one, to anyone. We are not separate. We are inner connection to each one. To ma make no difference from color, caste, and greeds, and religion. Teachings will come in the better way. Everybody is one. Everybody needs a love. Everybody needs a service. Everybody needs a compassion. And everybody live a peaceful life living. And let us share this energy. This energy <coughs> does not come from outside. Mm. It is not a mind. It is not invention. Invention, any science... An invention. Uh, invention, invention. Uh, inventing science, uh, it will give you a luxury, give you a better living. It will, it will give you a better facility. But it cannot give you a peace. And you felt this as a young officer. Uh, you, you wanted feel, peace. You feel that. And uh, you could see what we are doing, what for we are killing the people. Right. Why should we kill the people? Am I Hindu? Am I Indian? And because they are Pakistani, I should destroy them? No. We should, because we have lost our brotherhood. But when you made that decision, then you had some big task in front of you, right? You went to the Himalayas and you studied, you did tapas. Can you explain the purpose of tapas? Yeah, because we have to take yourself away from that society. You have to try to go beyond the mind. With the mind, not possibility is not there. Mind is a creative thing. Mind always goes on creating, goes on thinking, thinking, go on observing, go on letting know something, something. So if you want to go more deeper and deeper, then you have to go beyond the mind. 
you have to develop the awareness and you have to keep distance from the mind and the body and you have to realize that who you are. Once you realize that, then oneness, you will create a oneness to the existence. You will create a oneness to the whole. When these things appear within yourself, then you can share that love to the all. You will feel Very that, nice. okay, okay, we are all. And Yogmata was the same for you, that you were dissatisfied and then you sought for the oneness? Yes, uh, uh, a world is suffering, people is suffering. I had a uh, uh, disease for not too good health. I got a yoga track to make balancing, everything balancing, and the mind make peace for deep meditation. So Babaji come to Japan to do samadhi to the uh, what demonstrate. So I was a yoga teacher in Tokyo. Oh. Many yoga school that was from now 25 years before. So that time I helped to the Baba Samadhi, underground Samadhi and water Samadhi. And now, did he tell you in Japan that he would teach you this? Yeah, he's uh, for the um, beyond the mind. To, to go, go beyond the mind. Yes. Now, for the sake of our viewers who don't understand what Samadhi is, I will say what I understand it is, and then you can correct me of, of what you are teaching. Um, these masters know how to go beyond the limitations that most of us experience with our bodies. We need a certain amount of air, a certain amount of sleep, a certain amount of activity. Uh, they have achieved a certain balance where they can go into a sealed room that has only uh, a certain quantity of air that most normal people would suffocate in after a certain amount of time. But because of the accomplishment of the connection between their mind and their body that's developed by being familiar with who they are beyond their mind and body, they can then uh, achieve a coordination that allows them to sustain awareness in a completely still and quiet body and, more remarkably, can be viewed by other people. Am I correct? Yes, yes. Now, I understand the accomplishment is when you're viewed by other people, there's a lot of psychic energy. It's not like being uh, in your in cave the simple quiet. World, in the simple way, you can say the samadhi is going beyond body and the mind. In simple words. So far you are body, so far you are mind, so far you are so you will have a relation with the worlds. And that that is support energy. Body needs oxygen, body mm -hmm. needs food, body needs energy when you are active, working, and mind is important. Things are moving. But when you want to be isolated within yourself, so you have to go beyond the very first to go in the samadhi, you have to go beyond the mind. If there is a mind, there is no samadhi. You can, that is the illumination of the mind. That is, you can say, you are enlightened, we are realized. Mm. But those realizations, that enlightenment is the mind, object or subject. There are many thousands, thousands of masters are there. They, everyone say, I am realized. But does not mean that they have reached to the samadhi. They are enlightened. In a subjective way, they have enlightened. They are intellectuals. They are highly intellectual. They are philosophers. They know the great knowledge about the divinities. Right. But they don't know the self. They know their mind. They, they have developed their cognition power. They have brought more sarpan, more illuminated. But going beyond all these things is a samadhi. Mm -hmm. Samadhi means you are oneness with the space, oneness with the earth, un oneness with the wind, oneness with the fire. You have created a oneness to the, all the nature things. And like, how does nature respond when you go? If there's, it, it, if there's it, drought, like you yeah, went to a very that dry the, part that, of India, no in water. That, yeah, no, no meaning. See, everywhere there are, suppose think of the water. Eh? Water is just not on the earth. Water is there everywhere in the space in the ground, in the universe, in the, in the universe, within you. 
So through the water, we can reach anywhere. We are descended. When we are descendant, we have all accumulated within this universe, within yourself. So you're talking about the elements. Yeah, elements. Earth, air, yeah. fire, water. Yeah. So Through the element, eh, if you can create a oneness with the element, eh, then you can put samadhi with the elements also. Okay. And the, that your message can be carried out anywhere. Okay, now viewers, this is very deep what Pilot Bob is saying. He's saying through the elements you can have your message carry anywhere. So on that note, let's use the air element and maybe put the character generator up and let's have some call-ins to see how Manhattan is following you because yeah. I know that you're giving out some very deep wisdom here and if we can hear how, how callers are responding to this then we can make it more effective so that uh, your accomplishment yeah, can, okay, so can benefit more yeah, people. Um, Yog Mata, are, would you rather be here or in a cave in India? Or you have yeah. no preference? What do you mean? Cave. Cave? Yeah. You'd rather be in a cave to do samadhi? I'm a, a peat, making peat in the ground. Underground. The, yeah, underground. Oh, there, you're going to tell us about how you do it? Yeah. How, why did you choose Yoga Mata to transfer such knowledge? Yoga Mata, I found that when I came in Japan, I was invited by the Fuji Television. The political division? Fuji Television. Oh, okay. Japan Fuji Television, they invited me, and Kedo News Agency. They A together news work, yeah, they, they together they work, uh, and they invited for the mystery of the walls. Uh -huh. In that, my samadhi was asked to d demonstrate. You were one of the mysteries. Yes, I mean, it was asked to demonstrate. In that, uh, I found, I invited the people who were those interested uh, with the yoga and samadhi, they are welcome. And she came? And she came with the group. Uh -huh. I find that she has a courage to go beyond. I, I found see. that she has a divinity within her. So you saw her courage and her divinity. Yes, yes, and yes. You said so this I help her to take her to my master. In the Himalayas? Yes, you I took her to my ma master. I said, if she is el eligible for that, we can give a gift to her. I see. And she go and practice in the caves. So you first saw him on television in Japan? Yeah, yeah. And I help. Then Help. We worked to work together. We worked to work together. But you didn't do samadhi in Japan, did you? I was in uh, so much yoga teaching already, 20 years. I see. Uh, I have a center, 50 center in Tokyo. I did samadhi in Japan. I see. On the TV, it was going to the people. In that, she was helping with their staff. She has many yoga student instructor. With that, she was helping to make it better. She has done many samadhi in India. Most of the world knows, even though it was on the CNN task in BBC, they pick up that program, what they, such a Japan scientific country, developed country, a woman from the Japan, how she is doing, how she will make it. It was a big surprise for them. Though we, Indian has a right because they are practicing for samadhi and meditation. For someone from America, someone from India, Japan, someone from Germany, if doing to, going to perform this samadhi, that be, become a miracles. Okay, I'm very interested in the miracles because I, I like to see proof, a demonstration that it people are caring and, and that the caring people can, can bring the harmony and the justice and the love and the peace to, to all of the people. You don't do this to be selfish, to have a pleasant experience. We have to learn something. See, we have everything. We are having a thirsty for the love. We are hunger for the peace. And it's right there. Uh, it is, everything is there, but right. you are looking outside. Right. It becomes political. Oh, so this is the beginning of politics, uh, because we look it outside. It becomes political. You see, everything on the cell, nothing is on the cell. Uh -huh. It is Things has gone into the happiness, the pleasures. It has gone in the hand of politics. It become a power. Okay, but power, now power of politics, power of spiritualism, power of man, power of money. Right. And this this has confused the whole humanities for suffering. The so certain miracles. Mm -hmm. If there is a school to teach, 
what is happening the the world is confused because of education islam is teaching different education hinduism is different teaching different education sikhism is uh, church is teaching different this uh, education has confused the world to fight the war in this world because of the religion so you want to end the confusion through the demonstration of samadhi that you show that there's something See. beyond the mind beyond the education beyond the condition all right it is a power samadhi samadhi is a power and human being has the most in powerful in the implementation of his thought we mm -hmm. say in hindi sankalpa mm -hmm. what we will we till happen samadhi is a sankalpa sankalpa we so, say sankalpa so that's the will power that is rejo will power and the will power is how we create our life yes it but you're saying it's it. an illusion sankalpa is an illusion sankalpa is not an illusion it's not an illusion sankalpa is the most practical determination power eh? okay one can operate. if you are sitting in the samadhi you can control the time ah so you're saying when you're in samadhi in a very peaceful expanded state you're feeling a love and a oneness of all of humanity then whatever you think Yes. Will it, will will develop in that powerful state. Once you state? become a Buddha within yourself, uh -huh. within, then you 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 are handed over that energy right. to the earth, to Mother Earth, yes. to take it to the all. Aha! Uh -huh. Through the elements. It's through the element, we can contribute and let it go to the all. I see. You don't need in. You don't need to tell the people. Right. It will impress, I see. It will I see. Just because you're in balance and harmony, yes. you're bringing balance and harmony everywhere it else. It will happen. Yes. Wonderful. I don't think we're having any calls right now, so maybe let's do uh, about ten minutes of a roll-in uh, that was done with Alan Steinfeld and a friend of mine named Jenaba in New York, and I was in Bangalore, India, and I was hoping to watch the show over the video uh, over the internet. But in that day in Bangalore, I think this was December 2003, the internet was down in Bangalore, but still the telephone worked. And so I was able to place a call to Alan and to Jenaba, and we uh, at that time had another role in of a master talking about Kandana Yoga. So can we have that role in now? I don't know if I can hear the caller, or the callers. Can you hear me in the studio? Yeah, the we're lining it up. Okay, it's getting it's being lined up right now. So while it's being lined up, I want to tell you to keep keep the notes and uh, let's ask Pilot Baba about um, this show. I can't hear anything. But more than that, not just to convince people that that can be done by can, certain things. Can someone things, make the TV so I can? But to try to inspire in people to know that they have within themselves a master. That can comprehend what that means. Well, let's just first show. All, wait, Paula. First of all, Paula, wait. Let's just roll. Let me just roll that clip in now of Swami Kalashwar talking about the most incredible thing he's seen. Okay. Well, okay. didn't you say they've already seen no, that? No, they clip? saw the opening stuff. We're going to show that right now. Can we roll that clip and listen while while okay. you're there? Okay. Roll, roll the clip, and I'll hear yes. him. Okay, can we roll the clip? So what's the most? Roll. You've met a lot of saints. What's the greatest thing you've seen when you've met these saints? What? What impressed you? What I see, and they cut their hands. Uh -huh. Again, they joined it. They healed themselves. Uh -huh. They took the wild cobra themselves. They in front of me, got <laughs> bitten. Then, on few seconds, healed. Mm -hmm. And they teach you how to do this too? I'll learn. One part I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of process, the Shakti. Mm. Unbelievable process. What would you, how do you define Shakti? What is Shakti? Shakti means to receiving the angel's power in you. You are like an angel, walking angel in this planet. Uh -huh. You are the man of huge Shakti. Uh -huh. To heal the world, to get the commanding, mm -hmm. to wash out all the negativity. Uh -huh. You talk about opening channels. Which, opening the channels. Which channels? In the body? In, in the, the body, in the soul. Where are these located? In these? I teach in my talks the seven very powerful treasure spots mainly, but I recommend three is very most powerful. One is third eye, mm -hmm. one is the heart, second one is the backside of the navel, the Kundalini sthana, 
back side of the navel. Uh -huh. It brings the energy up. Third eye, it brings the highest enlightenment. The heart, when you've seen something melodious incident with your eyes, it, it touches your heart, then you started to cry. You hear something melodious talk, melodious music, without your notice, touches your heart, it goes to your three ears and it goes to touch your heart, then you started to cry. You melt with love. It means the door is opening, huge love. Inner secrecy energy is hidden in you. That melodious music is awakening in you, is opening in you. Then you are melting in the love and you are crying. This means high vibrations, positive vibrations is flowing on you. It's coming from you. So love is the real key to your teaching. Key. Yes. So my recommendation to really to sit deepest meditation to bring highest joy. Mm. To connect the God, mm. suck the highest power, learn higher technology of spirituality. It's been really great talking to you. I've been talking to a beautiful teacher from India, Swami Kaleshwar, sharing many of his deep heartfelt teachings with a vital message for the West and he'll be coming to New York so I will let everyone know Thank you for watching. This is Alan Steinfeld, and I'll see you next time. Hi, we're back in the studio live with uh, Jenaba, who's just been to India, and Paula Gloria Sakinas on the phone. Are you still on the phone from India? Yeah, Alan, I'm here. I only heard that last bit of, of Swami talking about sucking in the few, uh, high divinity supernatural powers or the, right. the blessings. Did they hear him talk about? Um, Kandana Yoga? Yes, they talked, of, they, we, we played the part where he talked about the most incredible thing he saw was saints or masters cutting off their right. arm and so reattaching my, that. Okay, yeah. so now my comment on that is the very last part that I heard, he was talking about drawing in the very high spiritual energy, but then just not just reveling in enjoying that, but using high technology in order to uh, digest those energies so that you can start to play with them. Now, you wouldn't think of taking off body parts and putting them back on again as, as a particularly playful activity. And yet what that's showing is that there is such alignment with divinity that you can, but also such awareness of the body. You're not saying that the body is not existing. Right. Because if you were taking that position, you, you wouldn't be in any... Uh, situation to be able to to do these kind of exercises with the body so it's a it's a play of an extreme state of detachment from the body as we usually know it usually we just get freaked out when it starts to get old and we can't jump around on the dance floor as well but these great masters are very aware and very respectful of their body as being a vehicle that can comprehend divinity it allows them to have the experience of God and of the divine, so but along with that, their detachment yeah. allows them to to work with the body. Now, the, the topic of, of supernatural sacrifice, because it is a blood sacrifice, a shedding of blood, is something that's done for cosmic benefit for all of mankind. And this is a subject so vast, I would like to go with Genobi into the topic, because I think the African religion can show some some keys to what this really means. Basically, you're talking about a sacrifice, mm. and following a sacrifice, regeneration. But it's happening in one individual's body. He's both sacrificing and regenerating. Is and if this can be done in the case of an individual, it gives us hope that it can be done in the case of a society, that we can mess things up, but we can also pull things together again. Right. so that people don't have to be despair about the out-of-control environment, the out-of-control economy, out-of-control reasons for going to war, things like that. That's things falling apart. But if our consciousness can take it in, we don't blame each other, you know, whether we're liberals or Republicans or whatever, we're saying this is the situation. Mankind is violent. If we can still, with, with divine love, comprehend this violence, we can go beyond that. And Kandana Yoga is one of the highest expressions of being able to see beyond the illusions.
and most of us are all involved in illusions, and the media is something that's uh, promoting illusion. Would you say it's the it. highest form of yoga because it's recognizing the body as a divine aspect as well? Yes, but yes, and the, and the thing is, you wouldn't think that chopping off the body would be recognizing it as divinity, and this is why he says, learn the highest mechanism of spirituality, mm. because usually you would just stop there, saying the, the, this is a great blessing from God, and you go around and you you go to bed early and you wake up early and you take care of it, and but this is something even farther. Now, since the audience never saw Sarmad, perhaps we can uh, you know inspire them to stay tuned for future shows where I talk about a saint in the 17th century who was beheaded by a cruel emperor, and then he got up and picked up his head and asked for divine justice. But since they haven't seen that shot at this time, we'll have to leave that for the future, and hopefully I can work with Jenaba and we can talk about the African religion. Yeah, why, why don't you comment on that, Jenaba? because she's Well, saying, in the West African tr tradition, specifically the Akan, Dealing with blood sacrifice, animal sacrifice, is called the sacred art of healing because it's believed that the blood sacrifice promotes healing because the right. energy is transferred to an animal, let's right. say, of, of any energy that certain people may have. Um, right. People pull energy from this. It's a right. very sacred art. It's a process. And yes. it's a purification process yes. where I, people's I know. baggage I, is released. You yeah. know, it's just like people were saying, like, what happened with 911, all the blood that was spilled. Right. You know, that there should have right. been many priests there from every religion right. making right. offerings so that this energy could be transformed. You well, know, you know, they, they, they do say there are many um, good divine energies with us at all times, even through an event like like 9/11, it's just that the victims in 9/11 weren't conscious. They didn't choose to do that, and that's an important thing to understand about Kandana Yoga. A master who decides he's going to cut his hand off and put it back on again is very much choosing to go through that exercise. Right, and talk but, about you know, Jennifer. Yeah, I mean, I want to hear about pulling energy from these um, sacrifices because it's like as if you're capturing the life force itself. Well, you know, Alan, when you sit down for a beautiful filet mignon dinner, you're yeah. pulling energy. And so many people who were vegetarian oftentimes realize they, for health benefits, need to start eating meat. So I don't think anyone can put down an animal sacrifice who eats meat. All you're saying is that that meat was highly blessed right. before it was eat, eaten. So, you know, we can't recoil, recoil in horror. I'm not putting it down. I want to know uh, the aspect of pulling energy. I want to know uh, how, that, how that process actually works. I mean, maybe Jennifer. Um, well, you know, this is a sacred uh, science and tradition that people normally don't talk about. Right. But yes. I just yes. want to say that this whole thing of pulling the energy, like Paula was saying, is that why are people eating meat? Because of protein, I mean, right now in the news we have about mad cow disease, and as we know, cows are very sacred in India. Right. You know, saint named Sarmad Sahib, whose remains are at the Jama Masjid, actually in New Delhi. I was interested in this saint because he was Jewish. He was born in Palestine, and he had come across as a trader. He was a merchant. And then he became God intoxicated and under Aurangzeb, who was the son of the man who built the Taj Mahal, he was beheaded. And Sarmad Sahib, in a headless condition, walked up the steps of the mosque holding his head, demanding divine justice. And then they say that his master from another dimension told him to put down the head because if he completed Kandana Yoga, it would have been all revolution because they would have looked to him to be the leader, whereas in actuality, hum humankind was not yet developed enough to have a saint and a leader. And so today my understanding is usually you have the saints in this category, you have the politicians in this category, and they don't mix. And yet when you look deeply, we are beyond the mind and all of these politics of the mind and sciences is something that seems to be different. So I'm very excited now to turn this back over to Pilot Baba because I could see while this was rolling, 
He was nodding his head. You, he, you knew about Sarmad Sahib, and you also told me about the importance of understanding the science. So, let me turn this discussion over to you. See, and call in, please. Yeah. Put the put the number. Yeah, great. What you have to see that people has to understand the masters, the great master, the realized masters, the experiences master. They must realize that. Eh? what is the science of the self, what is the science of the consciousness, and what is the science of the existence. When you talk about pleasure, pain, joy, that become a mind. There is two things remain, experiences and experience are remain. Mm -hmm. When the duality. Uh, duality is there, that means it is a mind. Right. You are working with the mind, see, you are not beyond the minds. Right. When you are not beyond the minds, you cannot make a oneness to the higher consciousness. When you're not beyond the mind. Oh, you are not beyond the mind, it is not possible at all. Right. Because our body is an electromagnetic system. We have an electrocommunication system. We, are, we have an organic system in the body. Fission and fusion are happening in the body. Fission and fusion. Uh, Just like are, atomic energy. Yeah, the right? atom, it is happening. It's it is very creating. Powerful. Yeah. Uh, they are circling. The, we are the collection of energy. Okay. Inside uh, us. Inside us. The whole universe existent has that energy. All of the atomic bomb, the hydrogen bomb, yes, all of that power is inside have, us. Yes, everything within We have all the, how we are making uranium in the body, it naturally the process is there. Uranium. Yeah, the uranium. Body. All, okay. all process okay. is happening. So okay. All carriers are there. And the saints have always known this. Mm, not all the saints. No, but saints throughout in the, ages. the Throughout the ages, the saints are known. Many are practiced, like sacrificing the animals, eh? like question comes, eh? that is who do not believe in himself. It's low level. Ah. It low is a level. tantra, it is a tantra. A low level tantra, I understand. Our body has a two polarities. That's why Janaba said that the cow is holy in India, yes. <coughs> the divine mother, <coughs> they don't like to sacrifice. You have to first see that eh? energy work always in the polarity. Mm -hmm whole universe and human bodies in the polarity. If you go on other side, you want to excite, evoke your energy and make use of for something for the healing, that is the ordinary way. If you have a confidence in the self, if you dissolute, if you make it introvert. Did dissolute means to go back to the elements like you say, yeah, the water go back you, to, to one, be in samadhi, because are, you're sacrificing your life in samadhi. Yeah, we are you? the process, you know, the life is the process. Mm -hmm. Energy is a practice. That there is a different process always happen, and practice you have to make it. The process always happens. Happen, but practice you have to make it. Make it. Who makes it? The master or the student? Practice. It is being taught the by the. It is the tradition of teaching by the master. So when you saw Yogmata, you said this is a good woman. You trusted her heart. You said she deserves this power you gave her because you gave no, her No, I gift. don't give anything to Yogamata. No, you didn't. I took her to Himalaya. Uh -huh. I found her, she, is a, she has a inspiration. Inspiration. She could be inspired eh, by the higher consciousness. Eh. So in lieu of giving, I ask, I say, let us go. I but said, you said you saw courage in her and divinity. In huh, her. A divinity within her. So you're like a talent scout? Yes, yes, yes. So I took her to the master. Mm -hmm who live in the Himalaya, Nepal Himalaya. I tell her, if she has the ability to go through that, eh, please take care of her. And your master said thank yes, you yes, for bringing so, her? Yeah, in lieu of myself. See, I have the ability to awake the energy. I know the system of body consciousness, eh, self, being, a higher consciousness. We know, you talk about the Kundalini, you talk about the center of the energy. Mm -hmm. But here to point out how many kinds of energy we have. How many it, kinds? Yeah, there are different, different kinds of energy. Do you know? As the Kaleswar, he talk about the heart center, the third chakra center. Mm -hmm. the, these are the... You, and the guru you, stand behind yeah, the navel? Yeah, but you have to see the first, the polarity of the life. Mm -hmm. We. We were always, you know, the, the, in the whole in the whole universe. Eh? Polarity, observer, observed. Uh, pol without a polarity, nothing no can mind. be success. Okay. Without you are polarity, good, you are bad. Without in the in the energy, it has. If you are creating atomic energy, it is very good. 
right. for the use for the humanity success and it is very dangerous right same thing within us right your mind is a polarity that's why a master sees if you're qualified yeah master sees qualified so when you are practicing anything see you have to be very careful that right. in, your energy should not go other way which right. can become it why the people right. why genetic uh, genetic teach, engineering gen, uh, genetic generation is there why fanatism t teaching is success uh, because they go another side of the minds why pe people are creating a human bomb a why human bomb being with, a with, the, with the dna a, a, with a, why because they understand the mind they can oh. hypnotize they can wash the minds but they don't know of experience beyond the mind ah, they don't so know if they have experience yes, beyond yes. the mind then they can control they this vast could, power they could have been the best the people who are become terrorist if they could have been come in contact with the great church with the great mosque with the great temples eh, are, are they with great master that brain could have been used to make a better constructive world in the with their I minds. See, I see what but you're saying. But they were handled by the another side of energy. They were handled by um, the confusion, yeah, the confusion. religious abuse. Yeah, ab yes, religious abuse. Religious abuse. They do not understand the religious. Right. They do not understand the gratitude of the human. And it happens in all the religions. We it, have it is always there in all the religions. In the true or the beginning. Yes. And killing in the name of God. Yeah, on, it that doesn't make sense, does it? Killing, sacrificing, they said they are doing the good things, yeah. but they are against the humanities. Yeah. So the love we have within, right. the compassion we have within. So this teaching must come to the all peoples. If not, we can force to teach. See, all the terrorists... Force to teach? Yes, we can change the mind of the terrorist. Now, when you're going into samadhi, are you changing the mind of a terrorist? Yes, we can change the mind of the. You can make see just by dissolving. We, how did you say dissociating into the elements? The, the yes, water yes, in your body and, and the water in the nature becomes one, and then your harmony. You, you and me, like others, we are sitting together, but we are the part of the nature. Mm -hmm. We are the mini universe. So you have a direct communications. It is working without our thinking without our doing the process are always active the inner science it is organized in the such a way it, it is creating a chemical reaction within the body uh, through that chemical reaction many organic things many atomic things many fusion many fusions are happening which are very powerful for the good for the bats and a yogi understands if you know the person this person is going to be bad for the humanity just if we make a contact and change it but this teaching has changed the heart yeah. that isn't that the biggest miracle changing to change the human the, heart the human heart is a different mind changing is important mind changing heart is a very beautiful thing it is a doorway to the all heavenly things right but you're Once talking about changing changing the mind is important so to, to compensate education, for the religious education abuse? Education has become dangerous. Education has become dangerous. Yes. In, in genetic engineering or in the, in the Tantra you were talking about? Dangerous. No, the Which same. Dangerous? In, in Tantra same also. Same tantra, thing. In the religion, Tantra also used in better way. Tantra is a great... Tantra, if you see the... Tell, talk about the Tantra, Tantra is not an ordinary thing. I know. Tantra is a great science. Yes. It is a experimented. You just cannot believe it. Tantra don't believe it. In many such as religious people believe in God and many things. Tantra say no. You want people to go are to afraid it. of it. People Jesus, are afraid of when it. Jesus was healing, they were afraid of Jesus. They accused him of being uh, in league with the devil because he that was is power walking politics, on water and he's healing the lepers, the blind he people. He was the man. He was the man. He was the Buddha. Jesus was the mm -hmm. higher consciousness. And he resurrected his body. Yes, yes, yes. He, he died and on the cross, yes, and then yes, he yes, came yes. up after. Is this, yes, this the, in your science? He, it was is, the great, yeah, he, was, he was known to the great inner science. Yes. He was in contact with the existence. He was in contact with the godly powers. But with your knowledge, you understand the science behind what Jesus did. Yes. So it's not surprising to you right. if you hear that a man resurrected, because you know from I your know samadhi. I know the samadhi. I, when I 
read the Bibles. Mm -hmm. I read the command of Thomas, Paul, all I read. I could find out. The gospel according to Thomas. Yeah, gospel I read. I find out he was in Samadhi. When he was crucifying, he was not crucifying. He was in Samadhi. Right. He was already gone beyond the body. Right. He was already gone beyond the pain and suffering. Because but we have a document called the Shroud of Turin. It's in Italy. And it shows uh, an impression of Jesus after they took him from the cross. They put the cloth on him. And they cannot explain how how the face is on there and the rest of the body. And it shows like an x-ray. Mm. The bones, and if he was crucified, he would be crucified. Mm. They would mm. stick mm. it mm. here. Mm. And yet the bones are repaired. Mm. There's blood on, shows that he started bleeding, Even the but now, then he resurrected okay. his body. If you go in the south now, mm -hmm. there are many festivals happen in the south. Why are you laughing, Yosmata? Like <laughs> a needle putting. Ah, they are putting a needle, they are putting a heel. They can put in many things. Oh, but they, they don't die. They don't die, they Jesus, don't suffer. He was on the cross, he was. Jesus never die. He never die. He never die. Well, then he can't. How do you resurrect? Resurrection he was means in samadhi. going out of, oh, I see. He I was see. in samadhi. We say samadhi because people, was. Because people would say, Yogmata, and you have died. Yes, from we the can outside. go beyond the There's death. There's no breathing, no heart rate. They would say see, you died. I have experiences of sitting in the water for 10 days, 11 days. Under deep, the water. Deep in the 11 feet in India. I have been sitting in airtight glass. Mm -hmm. Many cities have come in USA. I have been sitting underground. Yogmata, many times. In the Kumbh Mela, where multi-million multi people are gather, gathering in that uh, with great science, thousands of cameras watching. Right. Even though CNN watching, even though BBC CNN watching. CNN and BBC were watching. All were watching, watching that right. Jogmata Samadhi. Why are we not getting any calls? Is, are there any calls yet? It's so surprising. Is that the correct number? 353? Three? I thought it was 757. Seven. I'm thinking maybe that's... It might be a problem anyway. I, we I didn't had calls, but we'll get some more. We had them. How much what? time do we? We only have they 10 minutes. They wanted to know where we're speaking. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. We're, yes, yes, yes. So Pilot Bob is going to be speaking uh, this yeah. Friday at the Athena Hotel, which I believe is 531 West. Tell me if it's. 371 West 7th. 371 West 31st, isn't it? Between 7th Avenue? Yeah, at the uh, Athena Hotel at 7 o'clock. It, it's an incredible opportunity to be with a great master who has command of the cities, knows the importance of samadhi being beyond the mind, that the mind has gotten us in call. so much trouble. Great. Caller, do you have a question for Pilot Baba? Hello? We lost, we lost him. Well, we lost the caller. Okay. <laughs> keep, keep trying. We, have to make, we, want, we really want to make this connection. I want you to know what the Manhattan audience is thinking because... Mm. These are so many no, provocative This is thoughts. United States. United States. This is United States. means United States. A great knowledge, great scientific, great researchers. Right. They, if they come to know anything in the world, something different, then they want to go deeper, deeper in that. Farther down the rabbit hole. Yes, yes. I like it. The p intellectual people, the great philosophers, great scientific it's pretty real of this okay, United States. Call okay, caller, you're on farther down the rabbit hole. Hello. I can't hear the caller. If you can hear me, I don't know. But I mean, can the viewer hear? But it won't do any good if I can't hear. Can you hear and then transfer the question to me? Because I can hear you in the control room. I, I can hear. I can hear you. I really want Pilot Baba to connect with Manhattan. And don't forget this Friday, at seven o'clock at the Athena Hotel, which is in the corner of. Um, 31st, West 31st, and 7th Avenue. The caller can hear you. The caller can hear me? I can hear you, yes. But then you have to tell me what the caller is saying because I can't hear the caller. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Hello? Uh, oh, okay, we have audio? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. What do you have to say to Pilot Baba? I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, we're out here in New York and we're listening. We very much enjoy the program. Uh, no particular question. I just saw you all asking. Love the Great. program. Always have. Okay, come and come and see Pilot Baba this Friday at seven o'clock at the Athena Hotel, and tell your friends. Okay. Thanks for calling in. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, keep calling. If you got a busy signal, we were hello, having a little. Hello. Okay. Wait, go ahead. We have about ten go minutes go left. Ahead. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes, welcome to Farther Down the Rabbit Hole. Do you have a question for Pilot Baba? 
Well, I'm a long-time student of Pilot Baba, and I just wanted to say hello and yogi mata. What's your name? Marie Eisel. Marie Eisel, you remember her? Yes. Wonderful. Thank you for calling. Thank you. And we'll see you Friday. Oh, yes. Great. Okay, Bye. One more call. One more call? Yes. Hello. 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 Yes. Do you have a question for Pilot Baba? Yes. Uh, i like to, um, you know, thank him for what he's doing, and, um, um, uh, you know, i like for him to pray for me. Are you a student of Pilot Baba? Well, I'm a student of all spiritualism. Okay, I'm open to all thanks. spiritualism. Very good. Do I have to be a student of Pala Baba to appreciate his good work? I think he feels a connection with you right now. Right. Anything more you want to say while You're you have this? You're not the woman that is sitting next to him, though, is it? Are you? Excuse me? Are you the lady sitting next to him? Yes. I'm uh, the one in the purple and his esteemed disciple who goes into samadhi the one, the the, the lady Yog with the is in orange. Do the you have lady? something to say to Yog? Are you the lady with the blonde hair? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Because are you are you? Is this live or this is? This uh, is live. Okay. Thank you for we calling. We have more phone calls. Okay, we we'll pass on. Thank you for calling. Okay, Hello. Another call. Hello. Hi, you're on farther down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Is it? Is this guy Hindu? Uh, yes, but uh, when he was a fighter pilot, he realized what's the use to see division and difference. Yeah, I don't believe that because because what this happened, he, he cannot go inside the water. But that for my day, you know, I've been telling you I see a lot of crazy Hindus like this. I can't seem to hear the call very Hello? well. Hello? Okay. Thank I, you for calling. Fuck you! Hello, thank you for calling. Okay, this one is more. farther yeah, down the yeah, rabbit hole. Hi, this is farther down the rabbit hole. Yes, hi, how are you? Hi, fine. Yeah. I am a student of Pilot Baba and I would like to to have him uh, pray for me and uh, you know I feel this connection he seems to be a very spiritual person thank you and okay. it, did I'm he sure. say that he was able to resurrect or something I, I was not quite clear what he was saying well we'll, we'll ask a little more but I think we have another caller Alan yes okay thanks for calling but hello 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 I'm the door. you're on farther down the rabbit hole what are you doing? I can't seem to hear. Let, let's, um, he, you, can you pray for students? Can you, yes, yes, can yes, you yes. explain what that means? How, how does that done? Well, is that prayer is a compassion. It's compassion. Prayer is a energy connection to the each other. Already we have an electromagnetic system within us and this has connected to the existence of whole worlds. Any, uh, whoever is sitting in the meditation, and developing his receptive energy, putting in his mind what he wants, the answer can be given. And we can pray for them for better life, for and, peace. And is the idea that we all learn how to pray for each other? Yes, yes. It is so easy. that, yes. um, you know, Jesus was saying that we... Uh, it is just a thought, you know, just, you see, talking about the Christ, means Christ has his thought power, you know that? Mm -hmm. Just when he walk means he implement his thought. Right. Healing thoughts, healing power. And he had such good thoughts because he was with the people so who he had was leprosy a man. and He was a man. He was not an ordinary man. No, he wasn't ordinary. He was a great man. He was born for that. But he didn't keep himself separate, did he? It's he, okay. he, he embraced all of the humanity. Yeah, he loved he, he all was. of them. Because he, he was one with the existence. Right. He was a realized person. And his thinking was beyond the body and minds. So he was available for everyone to, he was whoever, is, whoever is interested to contact with him, easily contact. Right. Like the spiritualism, science is like that. Eh? Your heart is open, your compassion is open, eh? your right. gratitude energy is open. Eh? And that has a magnitude, a spontaneous concern with the existence. Right. If you just put yourself available, mm -hmm. let anyone, whether you are disciple or not, you are follower or not, let, let anyone who is who want to be available to get that energy, he can he develop his awakening power, right. receptic power. Right. See, in India we have a salutation. We say, just bowing a hand together, it means it is a symbol of receiving energy. Right. Just keeping in the mind, 
from Jogmata, that you're receptive. Uh, from Jogmata, receptive. from you, uh, ki this uh, this will receive energy from the existence. This very there are many things in the mind is a receptive energy. This Your is body. in Christianity we yes. pray no, this we way. Pray. Everyone, you know, this, is, this is a great power. These are both energy together. Either it is not electron, proton, it is not a it is a centralized energy. Oh, when you centralize, you balance it. When we are balanced, then you are in the center. Neither right. one left in the nor not in the right. So always you have to be careful. When you are praying, you should not be on one side. That's why people go, teaching become wrong because uh, people go one side. Fanatism come oh, in the religion. Oh, fanaticism, extremism. Uh, it has and come so because one side. Yes. yes, yes. And that brings the harmony. Yeah, that's why. Would, would resurrection be an, uh, an accomplishment of extraordinary balance? Yes, within. But if you are in the center, there is a way of realization, there is a way of having a beautiful and, life. And some have said that Jesus helped us overcome our greatest fear, which is of death. See, mm. we you have to see the world. We have Jesus. Justice? We, we have Jesus. Jesus. We have Assisi, Saint Francis, we have Thomas, we have Buddha, we have Mahabir, we have Adi Sankar, they are Nana, Kabir, there are hundreds, hundreds of I great... I noticed you said Thomas. St. Thomas? Yes, St. Thomas. In India, he's better known, I think. Yes, yes he's, known, the he's, known, he's known for good Gospels of yeah. Jesus. Uh -huh. So all these souls, they were open to, for everyone. They had a healing power. They had a loving power. They had a compassion. The way they come on this earth eh, to dedicate their everything to the humanity is eh, only depends on how much receptive we are. Like we are to your samadhi, because you yeah. and Yogamata are doing a kind of sacrifice. Yeah, me, so yeah if we, we are, are doing. We are aware it. of what your sacrifice is. When we is does in India, see, we don't. We, we, once we try in with the Columbia University people, some doctors came to me. We had a discussion. I went to university. We had a talk. Something we wanted to do this thing samadhi in here in America. But what is the problem? America, the law of America does not allow to stop the breathing. They don't allow you to stop There is the no law, yes, yes. The lab will not allow you? Oh, my goodness. We should write to our congressman. Please, uh -huh. they don't free allow. So you cannot do samadhi. Research. You cannot do samadhi. Oh, my goodness. That samadhi only can repeat. We're, we're off. Oh, we're yeah. off. Yeah. Want to say goodbye, though? Oh, yes. Goodbye. Can goodbye. I say goodbye? Yes, say goodbye for further. Mm. Okay, okay. Um, we've had many provocative thoughts on this show with Pilot Baba. I hope you can see him this Friday at the Athena Hotel on 31st and, uh, and 7th Avenue. And that in future shows, we hope to have him back, perhaps even from India, so we can go on to uh, into deeper levels of this science of of not the mind, of beyond the mind. Beyond the mind, yes. Yes, thank you. Thank, thank you, Pilot you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, Yogmata. God bless you. Well, do you want?